God with us. And we have one little spot left. And so we just thought it would be grand if you would come and stay because basically you've been sleeping on a park bench. Where did he get those clothes? Those are from Manny. Remember? Remember? Yes. See this. Remember, his mama sent him yeah. this, and it just sent his color. Yeah. But it goes perfectly with his hair, it don't you think? It's perfect. Yes. So, um, <clears throat> Mr. Newcomer, how about if you just go right through that door over there? First door on your left is the room if you want to just make yourself at home and get freshened up and tan. Well, where's Manny? We should get Manny to show him where to go. Uh, well... Yes, but he's going to have to walk right now. Yeah, yeah, right through here. There you go. Yes, everything's good. All right, first door, right, first door on the left, right down there. <gasps> Where did he come from? Uh, nobody knows. He just said that he was from this other town, and he actually walked all the way over here. Oh my goodness, I wonder why. And he was parked on a park bench. Well, he wasn't parked. He was asleep on asleep. the park bench. With what? No, well, sleeping. See, I was trying to shop, which, by the way, everything I need is sold out. Can you believe that? So I'm just going to have to drop back and punt, as they say, and think of an alternate gift for a couple of people. But that's not the important thing right now. Right. The important thing is this poor gentleman was sleeping on the park bench. Mandy was kind of fussing at him, best I could tell, from what Doc told me, because I went to the diner because I was so frustrated that I couldn't find what I needed. And so I went over there to get some peppermint mocha. Aren't those things good, by oh, the way? Oh, it's so good. Love them this yeah. time of year. So that's where I was, and then Doc was telling me that this poor young man was just on the park bench. But now, why was Mandy fussing at him? Well, because Mandy thought that he had violated some ordinance or something like that, so he was all in a hurry to make an arrest. Oh, he wanted to make his first arrest. Yes, but then Manny came over and apologized because he started thinking it is the Christmas season. You know we're supposed to take care of the least of these. Isn't that what Pastor Bob said one day? I think that's right. Something like that. I don't know where it came from. Out of his head the somewhere. The least of these or something? Yeah. So he probably saying. just picked it out of his okay. brain somewhere. But okay. anyhow, so I thought, I know that we don't have any room. All the rooms are sold out because everybody's here for the Christmas spectacular down right, at the church. Right. But I thought, well, it's better than a park bench. I mean, we got a little rollaway bed in there. We can get him some fresh towels. He can certainly use uh, Mandy's bathroom. It's not a problem. Are you thinking it's, that he's a safe person? You think it's okay for him to be? Well, he seems all right. Okay. He seems pretty nice. Didn't he seem nice to you? He's a little bit quiet. He is quiet. Of course, that might be because I talk too much and he can't get a word in it twice. But, oh, no, not you, sister. But anyhow, he seems fine to me, so anyhow, there we go. Well, I guess I need to make an alternate list, though. But you know what? What in the world We have another do? meeting coming here, and we need what? to straighten up this room. How I, I, we're just not ready for everything to happen. No, you're right. This keeps getting all bunched up. Goodness gracious. And it's a little well, bright. Whose dishes are these? <laughs> I, I do you, have. You like think Manny left this stuff here? I don't know. Well, I don't know. <laughs> oh, Pastor Bob! Oh, Pastor Bob! How you doing? I uh, wish you'd go ahead and tell us whatever the secret is because. I'm excited to learn. I'm excited. I know right. you're waiting Manny. until Manny. right before the play, but we just don't have time for that. Especially right. since I cannot find the last two gifts that I need. They are sold out. But all the baking uh, gets done, Pastor Bob. Oh, that sounds it's good to me. I hope she made fudge. I so love fudge. Are two gifts that you're waiting on? Mary. Can't Christmas. tell. It's a surprise. Now, who are they for? I can't tell that's a surprise to you because then they know I don't have their gifts yet. Now, Miss King, Miss Kid, now hold on just a second. You know, when we were meeting last week, uh, you were getting on to me about that surprise that I had, right? And you were saying, well, why, why can't you tell? And you got a little upset because I wouldn't tell you, right? Well, yes, but that's different. I was upset with you. That's different, Pastor Bob. Well, this how is, is that Christmas. Different? These are Christmas presents. Well, this is a present that I have for you. It's a Christmas present oh. for us? Well, exactly. Oh, but, but, but. I'm so confused. Okay. But that doesn't take much well, to confuse me. Did you know that uh, Manny tried to make an arrest today? No. He sure did. He did. Yeah. Some poor homeless guy was on the bench. And it was Manny. Homeless. But let me tell you, Manny thought more about it and came back and, and apologized. Is that right? Bites. Clothes and really did the right thing. Good for you, baby. But Doc took him over to the diner and fed him a little lunch.
much. The poor man was just starving. Yeah. So, so and we got a homeless sister, guy right here in their town? Yeah, my sure sister did. brought him here. You know, we don't have any more rooms in the inn, but we had to put him in a little... Kind of sounds like another story. Room. Well, I feel a little bit bad because we only had the hidey hole, the janitor's closet, but we thought it would be all right. There's a rollaway bed in there, and... Yeah. You know, it's better than sleeping on the park bench, and he seemed all right about it. I, I hope the he's all right. Part is, we don't know his name. I guess we should have asked. So what I you're telling me, though, is that, that basically there's no room in the inn, and you didn't have any room, but you you found a way to make a place for him to stay. Well, it's Christmas. You don't familiar. want him out in the cold. This is sounding familiar to me. What do you mean? No. Oh, is it in no a movie room somewhere? In the inn, no room in the inn, and yet they found a way to take it. Uh-oh. I feel well, there's a story well, coming here. Well, uh, anyway, Pastor Bob. Yes? we got to know this surprise. Well, well, we well, need to know it way ahead. If, if you didn't know, I'm so excited. I'm going to tell you right now. Your, your right. knees are bouncing up. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Well, the well, moment you've all been waiting for. Oh, yeah. really? Is it wrapped? Jesus Christ. What? Okay. No, no. it's not me. What? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Oh my Did gosh! You, God, you know this fella? Yes, he's the guy that was oh, the yes. G Jesus is homeless? <laughs> what? No. no. Jesus is homeless? You, you can have my room. I'll sleep, I'll sleep oh. down there. Oh, Manny, oh, man. <laughs> man, listen. Hold on just a second. This, this is Jesus. He's playing the part of Jesus in the play tonight. Oh. But oh. this is Bobby Johnson, my old college roommate at seminary. Wait, oh, your first name's Bobby? Bobby? He's a good guy. Isn't that something Bobby Well, I'll be. Well, did you set this whole thing up? Well, I'm sorry. So I'm just Bobby. so pleased to meet you. I just don't know what to do. Well, let me just tell you. Let me just tell you. I almost arrested you. I needed somebody to play the part of Jesus. The adult Jesus. So... What I did is I called Bobby and I asked him if he wouldn't mind coming into town because on the other hand, I kind of had a little experiment because I was been wanting to preach about this on the sermon and I thought, you know, why not get a realistic experience and preach about it? Wow. So, you know, the thing is, is I had Bobby come down here and pretend like he was a homeless guy because I wanted to see how everyday people in this here city of our town would react to it. And might I say that you guys, especially after Manny changed his mind, yeah. you guys passed with flying colors. Do you know right. do you know that in the judgment that Jesus, when he calls us all home, he, he's going to separate the sheep from the goat. And he's going to take the sheep and put them on the right. And the goats and put them on the left. Well, guess what? <coughs> he's going to say, what did you do for the least of these? And if you loved him, then you're a sheep. If you're saved, you would love him. And you would treat him just as you would yourself. You're not going to shun him and throw him away. You know, that's what he's going to do. And this was a realistic example of how you guys reacted. You know, you took him in, Manny. You gave him clothes. You know, you gave him a shirt off your back, basically. You took him in and took him to the inn and gave him room to stay. In other words, you loved him. And that's what Jesus is looking for. He's looking for us to love one another, just like you did on Bobby here. Now, let me get this right. When we die, mm -hmm. he's going to separate us. And then he's going to ask us what we did for the underprivileged and the unloved. In essence, that's exactly And if we do, haven't done anything... Oh, my goodness. Wow. Well, I'm just glad we passed the test, although if I had known I would have given me a much nicer room, I would have kicked Mandy out of his. <laughs> well, I, I hope you got room at your house, Pastor Bob, because frankly, all we do have left is that little janitor's closet. It's not the most comfortable. I actually do, and actually... <laughs> Bobby's been staying with me a couple of nights. We've been catching no. up the last couple of days. Oh, you didn't really sleep on that park bench. Yeah. Well, you two are tricky. I was that first night. I might be angry at you, but it's a good lesson. I'll say that. It's a great well, lesson. in Matthew 25, verse 40, the king will reply, Truly I tell you, 
Whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. So our, our life really is about serving other people. Exactly right. We're to serve others and worry about ourselves last. You know, and if you really love somebody, you are going to serve them. If you really love Jesus, you do. Amen. Listen, Doc. Yep. Hey. It's time for the show. It is We've got to get down to the church and get this play okay. going. Can't this play is a good Christmas We've gift, got Pastor Bob. Right yes, <laughs> we right. do. My goodness. All right. Well, 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 let's, let's do it. All right. Fire it up. But, Doc, what? Did you see what? that? What? I saw what? this what? picture on the one time. It said we are going to be separated later. A bunch of people the in line in Target. Oh, man. And it showed another picture of people in line in Africa waiting for food. I have not. This kind of reminds me of that. Because we are worried about shopping and getting all these gifts and standing in line all day long trying to get presents. But then we've got people in the other part of the world standing in line just to get food. Isn't that? Wow. Yes. I didn't really think about that, I didn't sister. Think about that. Maybe Christmas is about more than, than I've been thinking. 